Hi again, welcome back to Martin the Aviator. We're still in Austria and we're together with Mickey Lang from Diamond Aircraft. I'm about to test flight the plane that's actually on top of my wish list, the Diamond DA62. So, this is the moment of truth. Will I be approved as a pilot by Mickey Lang? And is the Diamond DE62 as good as I hope it is? Let's try it out. Now you see this little uh, uh, factory building down there, the London one. Yeah. This is where they built the Messerschmitt in Ah, really? Yeah. And also that, the, that's really cool. Now before we talk to the radio, to the v Vienna guys, we do our checklist. Gear is up, flaps are up, fuel pumps, you can turn them off now. Okay, one, yeah, two, right. here. Climb power is set, although there we don't need that, the lights are off, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Good, then. You can, I always climb when I'm on a ferry with 110, uh, yeah. and then you get uh, between the 1,000 feet, something depends on how heavy you are. Uh, it, feels, it feels a good angle to see out as yeah. well. The nice. cool thing is what I want to show you, look at the fuel, or look at the fuel flow. We have 3. Uh, uh, 6.2 gallons per engine. You're 12.6, you're so that's less than I have in my 185. With one engine. Yeah. I have 14. Let's uh, let's say 10,000 feet, okay? When you fly 65%, you get a true airspeed of 165. Yeah. And if you, so would you just put a one in the front? If you put a comma in between, you almost, almost get your full flow. <laughs> so if we fly with 85, we are cruising with 185, and uh, uh, have a, flu, a fuel flow for yeah. about 8.5. Yeah, 8 wow. Which is a very cool thing. I don't know if it was on purpose when you designed it, but yeah. But you like it? Yeah, I like it. 4,500 feet. Yeah. It's windy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> We're sitting here. You, you can correct it with two fingers. I've never flown this airplane before. But it's really, really nice to fly. I know. You really have it in your hand yeah. somehow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Start with left turns. Yes. Helicopter is 1,000 feet below us, yeah, so, so that's good. So we'll keep 4,500 feet. Yeah. I'll do about 30 degrees of bank here, something like that. Yeah, did you, did you feel that now, what happened with your stick? Yeah, a little bit. That was the electronic stability protection system. Yeah. Yeah. So make 30 or, or 40 there, and if you go over 45, you will feel the stick put you back to uh, 25 degrees. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now we can turn on the PTO if you want. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so this airplane got that uh, stability electronic, the Garmin uh, uh, stability protection system called ESP. So 45 degrees, yeah. it pushes you back to uh, 25. Um, if you if you get too slow with the autopilot on, it will prevent you from a stall. I, I will show it to you too. And right yep, right is clear. When you put it way too much up, it pushes your nose down. If you go down way too much, it also pushes up your nose. Wow. And if, you, if you're descending too fast, if you're near to overspeed, it will also push up to your nose. It gives you a lot of protection, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, and of course, you also have the, the, the TKS system, the yeah. liquid on the wings. Which yeah, you really need those. Yeah. That's one of the biggest issues I have. And yeah. That's why I, wanted, I really wanted to go uh, with a new airplane. Yeah. It's because I don't have the icing on mine. Yeah, absolutely. You need that. I really do. Yeah. I really, really do. Let's do. Let's show you that uh, stability protection system. Yeah. So we go to heading mode. Yeah. Heading. Uh, altitude is captured and autopilot on. So we're now to 
3,100 feet, uh, heading 210. So if I now put out the power, so first of all, if you go below 20, it will start beeping. Yeah. yeah. To uh, tell you, oh, check gear, something is happening, something yeah. weird is happening. So we could sit here now, and it's, a, it's been a long day, we're flying home, we're tired, looking outside, and somehow we managed to move the throttles back. Huh? Airplane is going slower and slower and slower. And we're not getting it. It's going slower and slower. And now you see how slow the speed actually goes back with only 17%. Yeah. Yeah? And it's still trying to maintain the altitude. It's doing quite a good job, actually. I know. <laughs> it's, it's annoying. It's too good. <laughs> <laughs> so just to, to make it a bit more like for the... Check gear. To, to show you it, I'm going to put them to idle. It's Check like an air brake. Yeah? They really are. And now, two big pitching up. Just breaking. Exactly. So, Air pitching speed. up. Check now, he gear. Told, she told me airspeed, yeah. stall warning, minimum speed, speed. and no stop. Check gear. It's not us doing anything. It's just the airplane airspeed. putting down Check the nose gear. to prevent you from stalling. And the stall warning is on, right? Yeah. Check gear. It's amazing. Yep. It's so nice. You can always, you know, miss it because Check it's too good. Check <laughs> gear. Yeah, yeah. The autopilot is really good in the diamond. Then, if you want, you can go a bit higher up, 5.5. Five. Five, five, yeah. On. And actually, I'm going to put it to put your power and now pitch it up. Pitch it up, pitch it up, 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 up. up. Just push, push, uh, pull, 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 more, more, more. Try it more, 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 more. More, 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 okay, more. Okay, okay, okay. And then you see it's pushing down a nose. Yeah. That's what I wanted to show you. Uh -huh. So now it, it will be the stall, right? Yeah. But if you if you have enough speed and you back, 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 yeah. it will push down the nose to protect you. Yeah. Nice. Well, we're really dropping the speed now, huh? Yeah. But there still, you feel it, the, still it feels really exactly. good. Exactly. And there you feel the buffeting, yeah. and now you can yeah. recover. It's amazing, huh? That's very so friendly. Nice. I did it very slowly and lost 300 feet. Yeah. And now, let's say, or why are we sitting in the twin? Because an engine can fail, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're flying around. I want you to feel that now. Okay. So just 65%, that's good. Okay, then we'll turn off the left hand fuel pump and engine must off. Engine is feathered. Perfect. <laughs> really? I'm oh, sorry, but it's too easy. I mean, the procedure now would be to put full max, like maximum power on the right hand engine, and then you of course need a bit of rudder, right? But if we trim it out now in the 60, in this, if you have it on 75, yeah, yeah trim it out. You can fly like this all day. Gear. Check so gear. we have oil pressure and RPM is good, we power up the engine again. Your controls. My controls. And then I also want to show you a cool thing. Yeah. These uh, engines are liquid cooled, not air cooled. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you can fly down fast and pull out the power without any problem yeah. without getting shock cooling. Huh? Ah, okay. So what you could do with this airplane, or what I'm doing sometimes at bigger airports, uh, I line up myself on the ILS, I fly down the ILS with 180 knots yeah. until one and a half miles. Yeah. Then I just drop the gear because the gear is, uh, you well, can drop it up to v &E, which is 205. Okay. Drop the gear, put them to idle, and I even have to put in a bit of power before touching down. Really? 180 knots, one and a half miles final. Incredible. Yeah, that's... So, no one gets mad at you, huh? No. Nope. Before flying a slow layer drop. It's always funny because the, the controllers then always say to the airliners, yeah, you have slow moving traffic ahead. And I'm like, uh -huh, watch me. <laughs> and then they're telling me, please slow down your speed. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. How do you sit in the back? Uh, I'm also very comfortable. Do you like the two-seat version? You tried the, the bench before? Yeah. No, I like this one. You have like a nice armrest. Yeah. Well. yeah, yeah. You see the windmills in the distance. Yeah, aim for them. I will. 
What a day. What a trip. What a plane. And special thanks to Mickey Lang, who take really good care of me. I'm really impressed about the Diamond DA62. It's a modern, clean sheet aircraft that is made entirely of carbon fiber and they have an extremely nice safety concept built into this aircraft. It's easy to fly, it's plenty of space and it's comfortable both for pilots and passengers. So is there anything to complain about? For me it would be the Dyson system. The Dyson system with the wet wing is not really my favorite. I've been flying it on jets when you fly through the uh, layer of ice really quickly. So you put on uh, the pumps, the wings get wet, so the ice doesn't uh, stick to the aircraft. You fly right through it, and then you can shut off the system again. But with this airplane, you have to stay in the layers. It's not pressurized, so if you don't want to have oxygen up your nose, you have to stay below flight level 100. And between 100 and 60, uh, that's 6,000 feet and 10,000 feet, there's a lot of icing, a lot of clouds, a lot of weather. And the range of the aircraft is about five hours. Uh, the icing flew it for about one hour. So that is actually my biggest concern. But of course, if you get ice on the aircraft, you change the altitude anyway, right? So I don't think it's a really, really big thing. And there has been no known crashes due to ice with the diamond. So it's extremely safe. It, I think it would actually fit me perfectly. It's not the fastest, it's not the highest flying, but it would suit me both privately and for the, my company. It's like a really big, nice SUV in the air. A big thanks to Diamond, who really gave me something to think about, huh? Hmm. 
What do you think we're gonna do next time? We're gonna go flying, of course. Until then, take care. Mm -hmm.